How many unit squares will it take to cover a square that has three and a third units long side lengths? All right, so three and a third. So one, two, three and a third. And then one, two, three and a third. So let's finish drawing this. All right, so we have some full unit squares. We have nine full unit squares. Then each of these portions here is a third because we have a third here and one on this side. So the area of this tiny portion is one third, one third, and one third. These are also, the area of these small portions here are also one third because this length is one third, but this length is one. So that's one third, one third, and one third. This tiny corner here is one ninth because the length of this side is one third and the length of this side is one third. And when you multiply those together, you get one ninth. So when you add them all up, you get nine and three thirds plus these three thirds plus one ninth. Those both cancel to one. So you get 10, 11 and one ninth D. And here's how you would solve it mathematically, not visually. So three and a third, you would change those to improper fractions. You would multiply through and then simplify to a mixed number.